So hi from JSpirit Unconference, the first JSpirit Java Unconference in the Bavari Bavarian Alps. And we have a new guest, Ishel. Hi. Um, yeah, nice to meet you, nice to have you here. Thank you. And you attended a session about mob programming. Yes. So could you briefly tell us what that is about and in your own words, what what you experienced in that in that session? Well, it's Sebastian, this was the first time I was introduced to the concept mm -hmm. and I found it really interesting because uh, it, w it is about coming together as a complete team and mm -hmm. work in a story and go to the whole pipeline and then from start to end. And it, well, we didn't only introduce the topic, they mm -hmm. also talked about their experience because, you know, this, we don't have just one speaker, everybody's, right. everybody gives their own experience mm -hmm. about this concept in their own projects, in their own mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. So, so basically you have the whole team of developers. Yes programming together? Well, it's not only programming because you invite everybody. Mm -hmm. If you have an analyst, he's there. If you have okay. a stakeholder, he's okay. there. Okay. So they were saying sometimes it's really boring for for mm -hmm. the business side mm -hmm. because they are like, ugh. Mm -hmm. But then they just say, no, that's not correct. Mm -hmm. And maybe you get that feedback at, at the right moment and they mm -hmm. decided that they do not need to change the okay. code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that it's also important is that you get a lot of developers watching. You all, um, when you are doing pair programming, you mm -hmm. have a driver and a, navi a navigator. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you, have, you still have this pair, uh, but also people like in the back also mm -hmm. watching, watching. In through mm -hmm. the Beamer all this coding. And then you can also um, interact with it and decide how to solve mm -hmm. the problem. Mm -hmm. So first of all, it's not only pair programming for eyes. It can be as many as developers right, right. in your team. Uh, they also mentioned that it's important that you time box and rotate mm -hmm. this this pairs. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So that means that you don't have a person that it's. Just typing yes. the whole time and yes. Just, yes, yes. as fast as possible. And you you can give a break mm -hmm. to 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 those to that pair mm -hmm. and share this learning experience. Mm -hmm. Because you know, in pair programming you always learn even uh uh shortcut or something yes. like that. You you that that's learn. that's for giving. Yes. That's the least you always learn something yes. at least. Yeah. And that's the very least that you will mm -hmm. learn. Um, so, so yeah. my initial thought about that is, wouldn't um, you, like you described, wouldn't that be very boring for project managers, for example, or for business analysts to see that project, to see that software in such on a detailed level? Or, for example, because this is the more traditional uh, way of saying we have different scopes, different abstraction layers um, of, for example, what is interesting to business analysis, to uh, domain experts, to model on a much, much higher layer and saying these are, for example, all um, all the uh, references and responsibilities within our domain model and then later on implementing just that very um, specification or the outcome of that uh, that brainstorming or that, n that knowledge distillation rather than having everybody in one part in a very low technical level? Well, they actually, uh, we were, we were asking questions about mm. what kind of stories are good for this kind okay. of development. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they mentioned. Uh, remember, this is only a tool. Mm. This is should only be used when it actually fits. We're not recommending to do more programming all exactly. the time, even for bug fixings or no. No, this because this is kind not the purpose. Yeah. Yes. Um, but well, there. if you have a new feature mm -hmm. that can benefit from a different perspective and you you need somebody, this this check of all levels mm -hmm. that yes, this is what we really require. Mm -hmm. This is it with a uh, system constraint, this mm -hmm. is possible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that really quick feedback about like, I have these restrictions because of X, Y, and C. Right. And then the business people say, well, 
if that's not possible, then we can, then I don't require that. I can change it. Right, so right. then you got this amazing leverage because the feedback is immediate mm -hmm. and at all levels. So and the process the is faster. Yes. Some that they may not have to think about. So, yo, so, and it, there's another thing that I really love about uh, this idea is that you finally interact with your whole team in mm -hmm. different levels and different mm -hmm. roles in a human level. Right. Because you see them at work, right. working. And y sometimes when you get a glimpse of h what's the process that the team is following, mm -hmm. then they know you you get these ideas mm -hmm. we as human mm -hmm. get more ideas get feedback and when our feedback is rich enough we can change even our requests right it's like you know visiting a friend at their workplace for the first time or something to, to really see what they're actually doing the whole day yes right. and you are surprised because sometimes our personality changes mm -hmm. And in our case, it's completely, it's evident. We are completely different when we are in front of a camera than in front of a keyboard. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And that perspective, yeah, that always. Yes, so, so it's always different. to mm. meet somebody when they're working, while mm -hmm. they're working, and to know that. It's, I think it's very enriching. And as I said, this time boxing, rotating people mm -hmm. also creates um, a better interaction between the team. Mm -hmm. And you know that uh, if you have a better interaction in the team, you, you start with a more human approach, mm -hmm. then it's easier to solve problems. You create a safer or environments to share things. Yeah. So at, at so many levels, I like this idea. So mm -hmm. now, now my homework <laughs> for work is research a little bit more. And then I'm totally up to go to my PO and say, what about this? Mm -hmm. Right, right, absolutely. Yeah. yeah totally, I totally like this idea. So thank you very much for, for sharing, for sharing this idea um, with us. So. Since this is the first time for the J Spirit on conference, and you attended a lot of on conferences in the past, right? Um, as far as I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is your impression from the location, from the overall? Oh, the location is great. I think you nailed it. Uh, we were joking that the souvenirs from this on conference are magnificent. I, I'm returning with two large bottles, <laughs> and they are fantastic. <laughs> Probably I will take another one, but anyway, <laughs> I have to discuss that. <laughs> uh, well, so this, I love this idea. Um, as a software developers, we sometimes are very into computers and our offices do not change a lot. But this change of location, seeing something that it's more manual mm -hmm. because this is completely mm -hmm. manual the whole process yeah the whole it's process super interesting how, the, how that's made yes yeah, so they they don't rely on a lot of machines oh, of course they there is a lot of machines but they are not automatized and we are all about that um, but they follow process but they are more into human knowledge and so for me it was interesting like craftsmanship like yes. really as a craft with your own hands <laughs> yes as, uh, yes and also also that it's the whole process goes into the knowledge of the people the, the everything depends mm -hmm. totally mm -hmm. on you as the expert so i don't know an interesting place. Yes, I love it. I love it. Okay, perfect. Well, then thanks for the feedback, and that's a pretty good reason for any uh, anybody else to well, join J Spirit 2019. So we're planning to do to do this again, to do this uh, on conference again next year, also here at the distillery Ooh. in Bavaria again. Then tell let me tell you, you should come. Yeah, even just for the souvenirs. <laughs> just the the, the just yes. Just take the souvenirs and. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, the content was fantastic. Thank you. Great. Well, thank you for the interview, <laughs> and for everybody watching. Well, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.